Hi guys, join us in this video to see how we travel with our aged pooch. Um, we've had a van off and on now for just over three years, so we've gone through various different ways of travelling with her and come to the what we think is our best conclusion for her. So we'll run through those things with you shortly. <laughs> First up, securing our dog. So there's quite a few different ways that you can do this. Uh, I see it quite frequently discussed on, the, on all of the different forums. The best way we found for her is harness. Oh, good girl. Well done. She sometimes objects to having that a harness on occasion. <laughs> so well done. You can sit down for me. Good girl. And we chose a harness because I didn't want her to um, be tied to the vehicle round her neck using her collar. So what we've done is we have one of these, just a little uh, lead, and the, in this van we've got that attached to the bottom of the seat belt, uh, just down here, and I've put some fabric tape around that just to stop that um, clanking. So <laughs> you're too far away, Lou. You're going to come over here. I want to get out of the van now, don't you? Come on, over you go. She's not really having any of it today. You could actually, there we go, just about see that. So she's got plenty of room. As you can see, she can stand up, she can turn around. Generally speaking, when we travel, she lies down kind of here-ish and that's it. And she's happy as Larry. In our old van, we did exactly the same kind of setup, but because we had chosen these carpets, it hasn't worked in this van, but it's equally as good and possibly gives you even more flexibility. So we bought one of these from the club shop you can see it like that and this fits into any one of the rails that you want to put it in obviously you have to make sure that it's far enough forward in the rails so that you can still use the downstairs bed if you want to um, but it gives you a nice big kind of clamp down eye thing so you can hook the dog's lead around that and then she's secure in the vehicle as well how much did these cost will can you remember so can't about, remember about 25 Talk 30 pounds like but we can put the link um in the text below to that uh, so that's the only reason why we're not using it in this van just because of the type of carpets that we've chosen so we've still got one of those um other people quite like to have their dog sitting on the um seats at the back here again i would probably recommend a harness for that rather than having them sort of around the collar there um, but the other thing that we also have bought and we bought this when we first hired a california um, because we were worried about her making any marks and things in that, is a collapsible fabric crate. Okay, don't laugh. The demo of the folding fabric crate, which we do take with us a fair bit now, and she spent the trip over to Jersey a couple of years ago in this when we were on the ferry because they weren't allowed upon the deck. So, elastic straps. Fold it out like so, zip at each end, Oop. see she's getting excited now, she thinks she's going on a trip, there we go. That's not going to help when you try and put it in the van, is it? Just like so. Come on, come on, out. Come on, out. Come on. Good, Good girl. girl. And we've just put a, uh, a little mat in the bottom of that. So you can see that now in situ. Um, across the top, top corner, bottom corners, that measures about 76 centimetres. Um, and the total gap, I think we measured it as about 82. And we have the bench seat as far back as it will go at the moment um, in terms of where the, the shelf, shelf is in the boot. Um, so she's perfectly happy in that. She is a, as you can see, kind of medium sized border collie, weighs about 18 or 19 kilos, and she's happy as Larry. Are you gonna pop in? Oh, good girl. Don't wanna go in the crate today. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you, but you can see there, Standing up should be okay in that she can get up and she can turn around and we find that perfect if we've got to leave her in the van for any particular reason and it stores um, for us under the boot shelf and um, just on top of all of our belongings you can 
slide it on in there, which works really, really well. On top of the porta potty, and bosh, in it goes. Now, the main reason we started off with having Lucy in the boot here, and on our old T6, um, as probably a few of you know, you don't get a firm shelf, you get a kind of wire mesh, and she was really unhappy on that, even with some kind of a mat on it. And she's not keen on being picked up and picked down and all, all sorts anyway. She's kind of her own free spirit there in terms of getting in and out of things. So we just abandoned this idea. And to be honest, we quite like having it to be able to just put all of our stuff in and have her in the sort of living area with us. So that's where we keep that handy. So other things that we've picked up on over our years of traveling with our dog, she's now 15, you wouldn't believe it, but she is. We've gone through a fair few waterfalls, as you can imagine, over the time. And a couple of years ago, we stumbled against these, which are road refreshers. Um, this is the small one, which measures about 15 centimeters diameter, something like that. And you can pull off this black plastic ring and it's got a floating bit inside of it here that keeps the amount of water minimal so that there's a big pool of water underneath it. Dog can lick up that water, it floats, so it sinks down a little bit and releases more water to it. So you don't end up with any water in your van and even if it tips over, barely anything comes out of it. We use the small one, it sits there perfectly. She's really happy and it fits under the sink tap as well so you can fill it up from things in the van. In terms of food, we started off with, oh, where's it gone? Here it is, one of these. Um, so a Biko, uh, bamboo and rice husk food bowl. I went with this rather than ceramic because she does like to bash her bowls around all over the place and it clinks if it's ceramic. And we have had an occasion once where she managed to put it down onto the step, you open the door and then the whole thing falls out. Helpful. Um, what we have found though, is the only problem with this is because she's a picky old dog she quite often doesn't eat her dinner she's decided against it for the day and she's on uh, meat and a few biscuits at the moment so it's not the easiest to kind of try and store anything that she hasn't eaten so what we stumbled across most recently are these from Lakeland so a double set of picnic bowls which are basically exactly the same thing so um, bamboo rice husk it's actually a pack of two here. I think these were £7.50, is that right, Will? Yeah. And another one inside. And the lids, excellent. They call them just picnic bowls, but you've got a couple of things there. Easy to pop a lid back on for when she decides she's not eating her dinner today. And we can then pop it in the fridge quite easily. And it's, as you can see, about the same size. Obviously, each to their own. Some dogs are a lot more happy at actually eating their dinner than this picky old girl. You don't know I'm cursing you, do you? No, there we go. Okay, so other bits um, for when traveling around, we've got on those little fold up collapsible bowls and we have one of these, any brand will do, but a collapsible water bottle so that when you've got it in your bag, um, it actually gets smaller as you're using it. Um, so for dog water, helpful to keep filled up just in case we ever run out of water in the van as well. A godsend that I bought a few years ago, and Will laughed at me when I bought this because it's essentially a big dog dressing gown. It's from a company called Rough and Tumble, and they're sized appropriately for each dog. Uh, so that's their label now. You can see it's just getting a little bit worn out because it's been through the wash a lot of times. Um, and as you can see, it's that's where the head goes. That's where the body goes. It's got some electric, electric um, elastic straps to go over the back legs. And then this wonderful big band around the middle that Velcro's up. And hey presto, you've managed to keep a muddy dog encased and dry and doesn't spray mud all over your vehicle. That has been an absolute godsend and I'm really happy that I bought one of those. Again, I think that was in the region of 25 to 30 pounds. They cost what they cost depending on your dog size. So if you need a really big one, you're gonna be paying more. If you need a little one, you're paying less. But I know they do a special Greyhound one and I think they do one for Dashans as well, which is really cute. Um, this was their special edition one for the year of one of the royal weddings. Hence why it's got the little Union Jacks around it. So that stays in the van. And the other thing that we bought a couple of years ago as well, and again, there's lots of these available, is a um, cooling coat. This particular one, which is a 
rough oil one, really lightweight and small. You soak it in cold water, uh, wring it out and then pop it on the dog and it basically sits on them like so with a zip over the top. I can't say she particularly enjoys wearing it but it makes me feel better if it's a really hot day and um, trying to keep her cool when she's traveling and obviously the godsend of California is having rear air conditioning as well which keeps it lovely and cool for her so we know she's always really nice and comfortable too you probably notice we don't actually bother with a dog bed she's never been particularly bothered about beds we've got them scattered around the house and she barely ever goes in them she likes carpet um, and she likes wood floors so <laughs> That's what she's got in here, carpet or wood floor, and she seems always perfectly happy with that. Um, the one thing that I do have next on my radar, though, to try out is a um, it's a folding travel dog bed, um, which I quite fancy giving a go for her. But like I say, she's generally absolutely fine on these rails. And since we changed over to the 6.1 um, four motion, um, we've only got two rails, so it doesn't make it too bumpy underneath either, because there's only the two rails rather than the three. So I mean, as you can see. She's perfectly happy. Th this is the, you know, we open the side door on the van and in she hops. And Will has just very helpfully provided me with the thing that we stick in our bags when we're just out walking with her and what we use this for. So a little clip on it, I can stick a carabiner in it or just throw it in the bag and one of those. And I think that cost us a pound from Asda dead cheap but this one's really good because it's got a nice solid ring on the side of it and some of these sort of collapsible bowls can be really really unstable but uh, yeah super happy with that and that's it that's how we travel with Lucy Lou hope you found that helpful today uh, it's certainly something that's taken us a good long while to hone as to how we like to travel with our dog and how what makes her happy as well please let us know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to know or ask us more than happy to help out and if there's any tips and tricks you can give us too more than happy to learn anything new so if you like this kind of content please do like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on california time mm -hmm.